And while all the amateurs complain, you train. And the result of that will change everything for you. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And if you're a brand new agent, this is really for a brand new agent, and that is if I were starting over, what would I do and how would I approach the very first 30 days? Now this is based on a very simple premise. I wanna get started fast, I wanna make a lot of money fast, and I wanna get my first deal overnight. Okay, how would I do it? If I wanna get started fast and crush it fast so that I can reach high levels quickly, how would I do it? So on this video, we're gonna talk about your first 30 days. Now I'm also gonna be doing another video on how to get your first deal fast as a real estate agent. There will be a follow-up on this video that'll be coming out later and so you can be watching for that. Once it's done, I'll actually post a link in it in the description of this video. We'll post it below, uh, but it will be done later. So. In this video, it's what would I, how do you train, how do you approach your first 30 days in order to succeed fast as a brand new real estate agent? So three keys that we're gonna talk about and we're gonna break it down of how do you actually spend your day every single day for that first 30 days. So first is if you wanna succeed as a real estate agent fast, the very first thing you need to do in your first 30 days when you start day one is you commit to be the best. Now, this is not for most real estate agents. So just so you know, I don't train in a way that is of interest to most real estate agents because I don't train amateurs. I'm not interested in working with agents who are just interested in making a little bit of money, doing a deal every now and then. So I only train agents that are committed to greatness, that are committed to being the best in their market at what they do. So I believe if you're gonna succeed, you have to commit to be the best. So. Why is this important? Well, one, because it puts you on a trajectory that's gonna be there. But here's what happens. The moment you commit to be the best in the market at what you do, everything changes about you. And when you change, the way people react and respond to you change. So people, a lot of new agents ask this question, well, like, how do I get credibility when I don't have a track record, I don't have stats, you know, how do I get people to hire me? because I'm brand new, I don't know what I'm doing, and how do I get them to hire me? And here's how, because you show up the way the best in the market show up, even though you're new. And you can do that. And if you're not good yet, you can get good quickly based on the other things I'm gonna share with you in just a second. But first is you have to commit to be the best, because what happens is that is that quest to be the best that changes the way you approach your business on a daily basis. You're gonna work harder, you're gonna be more intense, you're gonna be more passionate, you're gonna have more conviction, and when you have that and you talk to a prospect or you talk to a lead, they're gonna hear you different because they can hear the intensity and the commitment and the passion in your voice. They see it in your body language, they see it in the way that you show up, the way you perform, your consistency, your integrity, Everything changes when you do this. You're like, well, what if I'm not, I'm not the best? Well, you're on the quest to do it. So think about being the rookie of the year. Okay, in, in, in sports, you know, they'll, they'll, have, they'll give a rookie of the year award. Well, is the rookie the best in the league? Is the rookie the best? Probably not, but we recognize that because they're on that quest to be the best. Now, what can a rookie bring that most veterans do not bring? And here's what they bring. They bring heart. They bring hunger. They bring drive. They, bring, they, they want it so bad. They show up with 120% every day. See, the rookies that make it, the rookies that win Rookie of the Year, they play harder. They, gotta, they know they got to scrap and fight for everything they get. And when you come into real estate, if you're coming in going like, yeah, I'm cool, I'm good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crush this, and you come in trying to look cool and you try and thinking it's gonna be handed to you on a silver platter because of something you got in your background or something like that, I'm, I, good luck with that, but you're probably in for a rude awakening. So I want you to think about Jerry Rice. And here's why I think Jerry Rice is a great example. When Jerry Rice, who was the great wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers, to this day, he was retired years and years ago, to this day, he has scored more touchdowns than any other player in NFL history, and nobody else is even close to him, probably will never come close 
to how good he was. But when he got out of college and he went into the pros, he was not that good. He was not fast. He was not highly recruited. He played for a small college. He just wasn't considered to be like one of those guys that had the potential to be the best, right? So what did he do? He committed to be the very best. And every day that's how he showed up. And years later, once he was already a pro, a, you know, a, a superstar, once he was considered the best wide receiver ever, he would still show up like a rookie every year. In fact, at rookie training camp, when the rookies all showed up for the week before the regular training camp, Jerry Rice was the only veteran that showed up. And he showed up and trained with the rookies for that first week because he said, I felt like I had to prove to myself that I belonged. I had to earn my position again. And he just had that work ethic to show up like a rookie with the commitment to scrap and fight for everything. So here's what you can control. You can't control this fact that you don't have stats, that you don't have a track record, that you've never done this before. You can't control that. But here's what you can control. You can show up with a higher level of commitment than anybody else in your market. You can do that right now today. I'm more committed than anybody else you're going to talk to, Mr. Seller. That passion has a lot of weight. With that commitment to be the best comes the second thing that you've got to do in your first 30 days, and that is this, and these are things that are never talked about in training. Number one is train, oh, that's real good, train as if your life depended on it. I'm gonna do it again here. Train, there we go. Train as if your life depended on it. Now, I'll make a promise to you, and that is if you train the way I'm about to share with you, you will, you're, gonna, you're gonna blow everybody else out of the water. And the reason is because is most people won't do what I'm about to train you to do. What I'm about to share with you in the next few, few minutes will absolutely change the game for you, change the trajectory of your entire career because nobody else in your market, nobody else in your office, no other new agents, no other rookies, none of them are gonna do this. And that is, I want you to train the way a professional athlete would train for the Olympics. And I want you to do it for the first 30 days. That's it, first 30 days. So here's what you do. You, you're gonna spend um, five hours a day training. Your first 30 days, you're gonna spend five hours a day training and you're gonna spend five hours a day playing. This is preparing for the game. This is playing the game of real estate. So you're going to be on the job. You're not going to spend the, the you're going to actually be in the game right away because you get your license, you're with the office. If you've got your license, you're ready to go. Then you're going to spend half of your, half of your day preparing, half of your day training, and half of your day playing, half of your day playing the game of real estate. So here's how you do it. First hour in the morning. Now I'm going to, here's how I would look at it. I would do a 7 a.m to 7 p.m. would be my schedule. Now, if you wanna go 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., that's cool. If you've got you know, kids or school, you know, children at school, whatever, you gotta work around this, you figure it out. But here's the way I would approach it. 12 hours a day is how I would schedule my day, and for the first 30 days, I'm committing that I'm gonna be in the game 12 hours a day. That gives you time for breaks, it gives you time for lunch, and all of that. And, but from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., I am gonna be committed to becoming the best in my market at what I do as a brand new agent. This is gonna accelerate you like nobody's business. Here's how you're gonna spend your day. The first hour of the day, the first hour of the day, you are gonna do nothing but work on your scripts, which means you are gonna chant your scripts and you're gonna role play. You're gonna get role play offer, a role play, uh, a role play partner in your office, uh, you can do it on our Yes Masters Real Estate Success Community Facebook group and your coaching, get role play partners, okay? It can be your a family member, a spouse, whatever. But get one hour a day, you're gonna spend probably half of that time chanting the scripts out loud and then you're gonna spend half of that time actually role playing it. And then after you do that first hour of the day, then for the next four hours, you're gonna do two things. You're gonna prospect and you're gonna do lead follow up. That's how you're gonna spend the rest of your morning, all right? So from seven to eight a.m., I'm doing scripts. I'm practicing, I'm preparing. You're mastering it. So like, what am I gonna, who am I gonna talk to today? I'll talk about that in the next video of how to get listings, how to get deals fast as a real estate agent. But starting out, when you're, whether you're prospecting people that you know, your personal circle, or expireds, or for sale by owners, or whatever you're prospecting, I'm gonna spend the first hour of the day warming up, practicing the scripts, getting it in my head, getting it in my heart, getting it ready to go, and then I'm gonna spend four hours talking to people prospecting. 
It's where the, that's where the money is. You want to make money fast in real estate, you, the more people you talk to, the more business you're going to get. You talk to people, you ask for business. So you warm up, you train on the scripts, and then boom, I'm in the game prospecting. Spend four hours a day prospecting and doing lead follow-up so that if I'm, if I'm generating a lot of leads by the end of that first couple of weeks, I may be spending three hours in lead in prospecting and then an hour in lead follow-up. If I don't have enough leads to follow up on, then I'm going to spend that rest of that time prospecting. All right? So I'm going to prospect and lead follow-up four hours a day. And then when I'm done with that, so that's going to be from eight to noon, right? Seven to eight, I'm doing scripts. Eight to noon, I'm prospecting. And then I'm doing lead follow-up. At noon, I can take a break. I can go to have some lunch or whatever. It's going to come down to this other hour, which I'll get to later. And then after I get back from lunch, I'm going to spend two more hours doing one thing. Working on scripts. Working on the conversations that, you're, that are going to make you money. Prospecting scripts, lead follow-up scripts, pre-qualifying scripts for your talking to sellers before a listing presentation, the listing presentation script, all the objection handlers is spend two hours a day in the afternoon doing nothing but practicing those scripts, chanting them, reading them out loud as fast as you can, just getting through there and then role play them or practice them with somebody or whatever. But three out, two hours a day in the afternoon, I'm going to do more work on scripts. Now, I'm, this is going to be hard, right? You're going to like, you have three hours a day? I mean, how much does the average agent spend practicing scripts? Um, somewhere between zero and five minutes a month. And I'm not kidding. You want to be great. You want to be successful. You commit to be the best. And then you do what the best do. And that is you train like amateurs don't train. Pros train. Amateurs complain. All right? So, do that. And then, after I'm done with that, I'm going to spend two hours developing and implementing systems and strategies on my systems and my strategies for running my business. Okay, creating a lead follow-up system, creating your personal circle system, uh, creating your listing and presentation, your pre-listing process, your transaction process. You're going to have to be learning a lot of stuff and doing that. Uh, in the description of the link below, you can get uh, access to my Agent Power Launch online course, which will help you with all of this. It gives you not only the scripts, but it'll then help you develop, set up the systems and the strategies you need to do that. So two hours a day, I'm going to be working on watching training videos, learning how do I set up the systems, the transaction checklist and all that kind of stuff so that I can make my business work because you're going to be generating leads, getting appointments, and then going out and getting listings, right? And then one hour a day is going to be spent doing, I'm going to call this doing office stuff. Now, what is office stuff? Well, it's going to the MLS. It's going to the bo board of realtors to go do whatever you got to do. It's dealing with stuff with your office. It may be dealing with some administrative stuff. Okay. That is eight hours a day. You go like, what if I get an appointment? That's why you're working from seven to seven is now that leaves you two hours a day that you're going to do for actual appointments, whether it's going out and showing a, uh, showing a buyer and helping them buy a house or going on a listing presentation, whatever it is. This one hour here is designed for preparation. I'm telling you, it's going to be packed and there's going to be days you're going to work more than 12 hours. All right. But every business owner I have ever seen, every entrepreneur that was successful, when they start their company, they ain't working eight hours a day, my friend. If you're thinking eight hour job mentality, work and get a paycheck, you're in the wrong business. The beauty of real estate is it gives you the opportunity to own your own business and to determine your own income, but you can't play the way a minimum wage person plays. You can't play with a job mentality, right? So what this does is this puts you on a fast track to building a foundation that will make you unstoppable. So what most agents don't do is most agents aren't willing to do this, the preparation time. They'll go to classes that, some, that somebody says, you need to go to these classes and these trainings and some of them are mandatory, you got to go to them. But so much of them only give you little parts, little segments of what they need to be doing. What I'm talking about is putting your business together. And the most important thing about putting your business together is learning how to communicate with people that are interested in selling a house, buying a house in a way that inspires them to say yes to you. And right here, you're going to spend more time in a month, more time in 30 days learning how to talk to people and learning what to say and lead people to decisions than most agents will spend in their first year. And many agents more than they'll spend in their entire career before they get out of real estate. So that's your first 
30 days in terms of commit and then train as if your life and your career depended on it because it does. Now, if you're just interested in a deal every once in a while and just you know surviving, you don't have to do this. But if you want to be the best and if you want to really succeed in real estate, this is the step. And then the third step is in your first 30 days is believe that you can do this. Believe that you can be a massive success fast as a real estate agent. I've got coaching members that in their first year are making $200,000, $300,000 a year in their very first year in real estate. They don't think like average agents think. They train like average agents don't train and they believe at a level that most agents don't believe at. You go like, well, how do I get confidence? How do I have this belief that I can do it? And here's how. When you commit to be the best and then you train like this, that belief is just gonna, just gonna come into your life. Now, I wanna prepare you that it's gonna be hard. I wanna prepare you there's gonna be resistance. The people in your office, your broker is not gonna understand it. Your manager's not gonna understand it. Other agents aren't gonna understand it. They're gonna be going like, you don't need to do that or you gotta go to this class, you gotta go to this thing and you're gonna go to stuff that's gonna take you out of the process of training like a professional athlete trains to be the best at what they do. If you'll commit to the process, commit to training, commit to be the best, commit to the training and just the, the belief is gonna come. You're probably gonna do some extra reading and reading some really great books like uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich is probably the first and cornerstone book that I recommend everybody reads just to get your mindset, start thinking about success. But think about it, get that belief and it comes because you're putting in the work to get you to that point. Now, a couple of things. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, post them down below. Share this video with other agents. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And then also be watching for the next video that I'm gonna publish that will come along with this, and that is how to get started and succeed fast as a brand new real estate agent and how to get your first deal at like that fast. But it starts with this as the foundation. If you wanna get your first deal fast, I'm gonna give you specific tactics and strategies to do that in that next video. But if you're not willing to do this, it's gonna be slow, it's gonna be harder, it's gonna be much less likely you're gonna do it. So if you'll make the commitment to put this together in your first 30 days, bam, it's gonna put you on a trajectory that nobody else can touch. And while all the amateurs complain, you train, and the result of that will change everything for you.